What's up, scholars? Today, it is going down. Today, we're talking about our third word that is involved in the story that the earth is telling. Yes, I've told you before, the earth is the greatest author that the world has ever known because the earth was set in motion to tell a story, a story that is beautiful, a story that can be experienced, a story that we travel all over the world to go see how it's formed and how it's shaped and the things that it's done and the things that it's come to be. And two words that we've learned so far that are involved in that story are, do you remember? The first one involved this. It is weathering. Yes, weathering. Weathering. Not to be confused with the weather. The weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a certain place and time. Right now, it is cold, partly cloudy. And I have a smile on my face because it feels good. Yes, it feels good outside. But eventually, it's going to get really cold. And I'm not going to be smiling because the weather is going to change to winter even worse. And I'm going to be really cold because I'm not a big fan of winter. That's the weather. That is not what we're talking about. We are talking about weathering. And weathering is the breaking down of rocks. It's the breaking down of rocks. Weathering is the breaking of and we talked about how when rocks are broken, they're broken into these smaller pieces that we call sediments. And these sediments, these smaller pieces, can be moved, transported, or our big science word is eroded. So there were two processes, weathering, the breaking down of rocks, and then erosion is when those sediments are transported or moved. Does anybody remember the three agents of erosion that we talked about that transport, move, and weather sediments? Does anybody remember? Does anybody remember? Come on. I know somebody remembers. You have to remember. Just if you if you have to, pause it and jump back to the other video. Because I know that you remember. There were three agents of erosion, three things that 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 break and that move rock sediments, and they were wind, yes, and it was water and then there was ice yes and these agents of erosions assist in the the movement and the story that's being told in the earth they assist us in the creation of the different types of landforms if you remember we talked about the story that a canyon has and this canyon has an amazing story that began with water running across a, a surface of the earth and slowly eroding away sediments until it created this magnificent uh, con this magnificent landform that we call a canyon but there's so many other landforms that involve more processes so one of the questions that we're asking today is what happens to those sediments as they continue to move do they just like move forever is that what happens they just move forever they just they, they're forever moving is that no of course they're not forever moving we have gravity and gravity pulls things down right gravity is a pulling force that pulls things down towards the center of the earth gravity pulls the the smaller mass object towards the larger mass object just like the earth is held in its gravitational orbit around the sun because the sun has more mass so it keeps us like a string and we're going to talk about that in a couple of weeks whenever we continue to go into earth science and we're talking about how the earth revolves around the sun and how the moon revolves around the earth and all of those cool things that's gravity yes but this is another really cool thing that gravity does in the process of the earth. So we have these sediments, and these sediments are, are moving. They're moving through this water like we talked about before. So we have the river flowing, and with the river flowing at the bait, these sediments are just being transported and eroded and transported and eroded and transported and eroded. But you know what? Eventually, the, there's going to come a point where the water might slow down or it might open up into a larger body of water. And you have to ask yourself, what happens to those sediments when everything slows down or it stops? Now, we're watching this and we're looking at it and we're trying to see, well, what's going to happen to those sediments? I can literally see the sediments floating around in the water. I can see them floating. I can see them moving. I can see them being e eroded, transported, moved for a picture's sake. But as we're looking at this, what I'm noticing is that the sediments are slowly starting to make their way 
back down to the bottom. They're falling and the water's becoming clearer and clearer and clearer. The sediments are stacking on top of each other. It was moving down, but now the, the sides are getting higher and higher because these sediments are falling down. They're stacking on top of each other. Our science word that we use for that is deposition. Deposition is when the sediments begin to stack into layers. The deposition is when the sediments begin to stack into layers. So just think about it. It's a process. So first, there has to be a breaking of the rocks. So they're breaking, they're falling. They're breaking, they're falling. You can see the little sediments fall in there. And after those sediments fall, wind, water, and ice, they transport and they move these sediments. They transport and they move these sediments. They erode the sediments. But eventually, the sediments are going to begin to fall. And whenever they fall, they are deposited in layers on top of each other. And that process is called deposition. A really cool way to see deposition is we're going to talk about soil and how soil happens. And there's different kinds of soil. And soil has different textures and different properties and different colors. And so sometimes you can literally look at rocks and you can see layers of rocks that were deposited that might have been different types of soil. So we see more of a reddish hue here, and then down here it looks totally different because deposition like a cake is layer banking. So whenever we would do this in school, we would say weathering is the breaking them, erosion is the taking them. Deposition like a cake is layer making them because deposition stacks layers of sediments on top of each other just like we stack birthday cake layers on top of each other. So weathering is the breaking them, erosion is the taking them, deposition like a cake is layer making them, and this process comes together to form a rock called sedimentation that we're going to look at are called sedimentary rock. I'm back. Hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson of amazing science. We will be back on soon with more. We're going to be talking about landforms that were created using these processes, weathering, erosion, deposition. We're going to be talking about how these processes literally have shaped the planet as we see it today. We're going to be talking about looking at different pictures and things and wondering what agent of erosion might have shaped this or formed this or assisted in the creation of this because the earth is trying to tell you a story. But when you understand these processes, it helps you in understanding that story and it helps you to be able to predict what the next lines are going to be and to predict what's going to happen next in the story and to predict what would happen in these certain areas because you understand the science behind the story that the earth is trying to tell us. Remember, the earth is constantly changing. The earth is constantly changing. And not only is it constantly changing, but it consists of many, 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 many resources that are useful to us today. But we have to understand the why. We've got to understand not just what is happening, but as scientists, we have to understand why is it happening. And if we can understand the why, then we are truly positioning ourselves to be able to do some pretty awesome science. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember our three words, weathering, erosion, deposition. Weathering is the breaking them. Erosion is the taking them. And deposition, like a cake, is layer making them. Let's get it, scientists. We will be back on soon with more amazing science. Have a great day, family.